Hi, this is Mato. Welcome to my online chess lecture. In this video, I will show you a game between Alexandra Stiri and Katerina Jonoska. This very beautiful chess game was played in 1999. Anything important happened to you in 1999? Alexandra Stiri had white pieces and she started with e4. Katerina Jonoska played e5. d4. The center game. E takes on d4. White move. Queen takes on d4 was played. My favorite move in this position is c3. And after d takes on c3, bishop to c4. The Danish gambit. But this is a game for another time. Back to our game. Queen takes on d4 was played. Knight to c6 attacking the queen. Queen to e3. Knight to f6. Knight to c3. b6 intending bishop to c5. Bishop to d2. Bishop to c5. Queen to g3. Black to move. Queen to e7. White to move. Should white defend the pawn on e4 or not? How would you defend the pawn on e4? Alexander Stiri castled queen's side and Katerina Jonoska castled king's side. If knight takes on e4, knight takes on e4, and after queen takes on e4, rook to e1 is slightly unpleasant. Back to our game. So we have castling queen's side, castling king's side. White to move. How would you continue? Bishop to g5 was played. Well, bishop to h6 is also interesting, and if knight to h5, queen to g4, this is also good for white. Back to our game. We have bishop to g5, which is also unpleasant for black, but in this position, Katrina Janoska offered to trade queens. Knight takes on e4 was played. Knight takes knight, queen takes knight. Who is better? Black is upon up. But black queen is exposed to the attack of minor pieces. And bishop to d3 is asking to be played. Queen to e5. Offering to trade queens again. To have an easier game. White can play bishop to f4. But queen to h4 was played threatening. Check. Mate. Black to move. Should black play g6 or h6? g6 was played. h6 should have been considered. Probably player with the black pieces was afraid of the sacrifice on h6. Back to our game, we have g6. This move creates weaknesses on the dark squares. Knight to f3, attacking the queen, queen to e6, threatening to capture the pawn on a2. White to move. What would you do? White has three good moves in this position. First move is a3, at the lazy one, saving the pawn controlling b4. The other move is rook from h to e1, activating the last piece, offering black to take the pawn. This is also a good move for white. But Alexandra Stiri played bishop to c4, defending the pawn and attacking the queen. Bishop takes on f2, again offering to trade queens. Queen to h6, removing the target sacrificing the bishop. Queen takes on c4. White to move. What would you do in this position if you had white pieces? Well, bishop to f6 is very tempting, isn't it? Alexandra Stiri played rook from h to e1. Let's take it back. If bishop to f6, then white does not win because of Bishop to e3 check, forcing white to take the bishop, and then queen to e6, and black is fighting back. Amazing, isn't it? Back to our game. Alexandra Stiri played rook from h to e1, activating the last piece, allowing black to capture that piece. But this is a deflection tactic. It's a trick. It's a trap. And let's have a look at the whole board. White developed all his pieces. And two of the black pieces are still asleep. So, white is better. Black to move. Knight to d4. Let's take it back. 
Let's see what happens if bishop takes on e1. Well, if bishop takes rook, then bishop to f6. And now this move works, and white is winning. Very simple, isn't it? Back to our game. We have knight to d4, threatening, check, mate. And this is now the most interesting moment of the game. How would you defend in this position if you had white pieces? Please pause and find the best move for white. Did you pause? What did you find? Did you find this amazing move? Queen takes rook check. Kaboom! Did you see this one coming? If you did, congratulations. King takes queen, what else? Now bishop to h6 check. King to g8, rook to e8, check. Mate, wow, what a brilliant finish. What do you think of this game? And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your chess and bye for now.